Okay, coaches, this is Mike Kuchar for USAFootball.com. We're going to talk you through some clips of our program drill. Uh, we call it the program drill. Basically, you could substitute, substitute any nickname that your team has, Tigers, Lions, Bears, Bear Drill, Lion Drill, Tiger Drill. doesn't really matter. Uh, we just want to emphasize how important the drill is, so therefore we call it the program drill. So what you're going to see here is it's a kind of a morphed into a pursuit drill. Okay, where players are expected to line up, okay, based on the formation. They're expected to make their correct force and cutback calls by tapping the helmet. The player that has force communicates that. And everybody is expected to tag off on the ball carry by executing the proper balance as in a tackle, uh, attacking with the proper hand, whether it's outside or inside hand, and then letting that ball carrier run. Now, it's hard to see here, but the, sport, the drill starts at the 10-yard line. At the 35-yard line, you're going to see some cones. There's one cone at the top of the numbers, one cone at the one hash, one cone at the other hash, and one cone at the numbers over here. Uh, the purpose of the drill is a two-whistle drill. Once the player gets to one of those cones as the rabbit, the first whistle is blown. Everybody else must turn and sprint to get the cone. You'll see examples here in a second. So right now, this is a quarterback speed option, okay, out of a, uh, out of a 10 personnel set, okay. The defensive end is supposed to close on the quarterback. He's doing a poor job of it right there. He's supposed to touch with the inside hand, okay. He's a little late in doing it, but the reason why this clip's on here is because we make a call and he one back sets. We have a man-free coverage principle. These two players are boxing the ball back to each other. So essentially, this player is the cutback player. As you see here, as this film develops, he should be touching. He's a little too fast here. We talk about matching the tempo of the running back. Now, right now, the running back's the quarterback. He's not fast out of the box like a toss sweep or a jet sweep. He is downhill in the box. So this player should be shuffling and tagging off on the backside hip. And right now he gets himself in a position where the player could cut back away from. Now why that's important is because now the offense has a number to block each of us. And if this player cuts back, he gets blocked, there's a problem backside. So now as you see, we're going to tag off. Everyone's going to try to get a piece of that player. That's a pretty good job coming to balance by that player. I like this drill because it teaches the fundamentals of tackling, talking about coming to balance. Pretty good job by that player. Now once he gets to a cone, we are going to run like heck to get around that cone. Now, some players are running a little harder than others. It's our job as a coach to monitor that. Okay, usually when they get around a the player, they may break it off on something like hustle or sprint or pursuit or whatever it may be. And, of course, the choice is yours on that. Next play. Okay, we have a, a jet sweep concept here. Okay, the force player is the apex player here. So his job is to tag off. Now, if you're the force player, again, we talked about the outside peck of the ball carry being the aiming point. So right now he's in a pretty good position. That's a great job. He comes to balance. He tags off on the outside hip, which is exactly what we want. Now everybody else is running to chase the backside hip. I just see everyone's going to try to get a tag. Pretty good pursuit by that player coming across the formation. Okay, there's a nose guard hustle in there. Once that whistle blows, we all need to run to get to that spot. Okay, another example is another speed option concept. There's a much better job of that inside linebacker, so you have the same play, probably for a reason. Okay, so now pretty good job. He's got to work to come over the top. He's matching the tempo of the quarterback. He's coming to balance here. He's playing cutback. Okay, he's doing a good job tracking the backside hip. And again, again, I'd like him to make sure that he touches with the hand, his outside hand, so that ball cannot cut back around him. You know, once the players get a little tired here, they stand up. This is about the fifth or sixth rep of doing this. It's a five-minute session. Okay, they start to pinball a little bit. you got to make sure you're coaching that. It's a great conditioning drill. Again, on the whistle, you'll see these players sprint full speed, okay, to get to that spot. Pretty good hustle on the back end here. We'll show you one more clip. This is just a quarterback draw scenario. Okay, it's out of empty. Okay, we're in a three down front. Again, does not matter the defense you run. It's just a matter of communicating force and cutback. These two players are the box players. He has force to his side. He has force to his side. Takes it up in there. Pretty good job coming to balance, tagging off on the outside hip. Okay, but again, not perfect. We want to make sure that ball cuts back. That ball's got to cut back to his partner. So he's got to touch with the left hand here and force it back inside. It's the details that make this drill worthwhile. Again, poor job by 71 here, working. He should come to balance before the tag off, and then you have the finish. Pretty good hustle by 55 there. So that'll give you a good example of uh, what the program drill is. It's a pursuit drill mixed in with the force and cutback techniques and fundamentals.